What's up? It's been a minute since we hung out. I uh, apologize for that. My life has been pretty crazy lately, actually. I've been living my best life over here on this planet. <laughs> you guys may know if you watched Vlogmas or if you got the notification from the community channel here on YouTube that I got a job. I got a real job. If you call serving breakfast a job, I suppose. Some people very vocally like to remind you that it's not. <laughs> However, it's been paying the bills, so I'm pretty excited about it. When I went to this interview, I got told about 20 hours a week. Not the case. Not the case. I've been working five days a week, very long hours, very draining hours, so it's been exhausting to say the least. It's not exactly something I get excited to get home and start filming, you know what I mean? It's, uh, it's, a, it's a grueling, grueling day at the job. So that's why you haven't seen my face very often, to be completely frank and honest with you. A couple things I really wanted to cover in today's welcome back to YouTube style video is me quitting social media for who knows how long. I'm not exactly certain. I haven't given myself a date where I decide to re-download Facebook and Instagram to my phone because I just am not sure when I'm going to need it again. I don't know if you guys relate, but lately I've found social media to be way, way more draining than it is inspiring. I found it to be dreadful and just all around an extreme waste of my time. This new job actually has on-call shifts where you wake up before 7.30 in the morning and just wait until 3.30 to see if you get a phone call to be called into work. Not a great way to spend a day. However, since my telephone is about three years old, and slowly breaking down. It doesn't ring anymore. I don't know why. It doesn't even ding for text messages anymore. So nothing happens no matter how high up my volume is. Here I am all day long scrolling, waiting for a phone call from my work that never comes and then I've spent eight hours on my phone delving into everything. It's like an overload to the brain. Eventually I just start feeling sad, jealous, annoyed, grumpy. Every time I go on I seem to find something that makes me uneasy or upset. It's just, it's just not an inspiration anymore. It's not an inspiring place for me to spend my time. So that's why I quit. I decided randomly last week to up and delete Instagram and Facebook off of my phone and just give myself a little bit of time to breathe. It's been a few days now and to be completely honest I'm feeling pretty good. I still have crazy urges to grab my phone and check the apps even though they don't exist. It's kind of like, you know, when people like lose a limb and they still feel like it's there. That was dramatic. <laughs> Bad comparison, sorry. However, I feel really good. So far so good. What I have decided to do is really hone in my social media into one platform for a little while, a couple weeks. We'll see how it goes. I've been really seriously missing YouTube since I kind of went on hiatus, wasn't on purpose, just kind of happened, you know, life catches up with you and time just flies. It's, it's wild to look at my page and see four months ago uploaded. I, that's a disappointment. I truly just want to kind of put the energy that I'm not putting into mindlessly scrolling through my social media into this into hanging out with you guys again. I just really feel like this is the one platform 
where I get to decide what I see. I get to decide what I click on. It isn't just garbage after garbage <laughs> advertisements constantly if I don't want it to be. So this is kind of what my plan is. I really want to start sharing these thoughts that I would always currently have with you guys. First instinct for me when I see something cool or I think of something I want to share with people was to open Instagram, instantly click on stories, and go from there. A 24 hour then deleted kind of information. It didn't really make a lot of sense. I mean, after 24 hours, anyone who didn't have the time to log in and see it won't see it. Why did this become such a reach for way of, of sharing information for me. I don't know. However, I just feel this urge to change it. I really want to bring it here. I really want to focus more on vlogs. I want to get a lot more vlog footage out for you guys. I think it would be a lot more memorable for me in the future if I have a big compilation of videos instead of just random tidbits throughout my life. So. I think I'm going to get back into vlogging a little bit, as often as I possibly can, and I really want to get better at it. You can see these girls vlogging in the streets like it ain't no thing, but I dare you to pull your camera out in a busy, crowded place and try to talk to it in a nice, concise way. I promise you it's a lot harder than it looks. So that's something that I really want to strengthen, is my ability to videotape myself in public without feeling this ultimate shame. <laughs> what is that? Why do I do that? Who knows? It's human nature, I swear. So far since deleting the app, I have still been taking pictures of everything and videotaping everything. I've been having a lot of fun with just like keeping these things for myself and then eventually I'll find a way to bring them to you guys. As far as the life update of this video goes, I've been having a lot of fun. We kind of planned a lot of our like summer trips in spring because our jobs are very heavy loaded during the summer. So we kind of wanted to just jump through, get some fun stuff done, and then just like work through the summer. It just so happened that all of the music festivals that we really wanted to go to this year were in the spring just drinking on summer. So thankfully it wasn't too hard for us to get the time off. We were in Ottawa and Toronto for a few days and then just a month later we flew down to Vancouver. I did record a lot while I was away in Ottawa. However, this camera I'm filming on, I ended up spilling an entire coffee on. So, I cannot believe it still works. I am amazed. It wouldn't turn on after about 12 hours after the coffee spilling accident. So here it is. It's alive. It's well. I don't really know if there's going to be many glitches as this is the first video I'm filming since. Because of the coffee on camera scare, I did not bring it to Vancouver. I was just... <laughs> not having that so I did take a little bit of footage in Vancouver but honestly not much. That's pretty much what I really wanted to update you guys on before we go into this beautiful life of more content coming your way. If you guys have any questions or concerns, comments, or anything like that, let me know. I will have that Q&A of DIY things coming up for you very shortly. That is something that I've been wanting to do for many months. And until next time, I will see you guys very soon. Take care, guys.